back foot yep. and make him start to have to make riskier choices that can be exploited. Yeah. Mm, good start. Yeah, and both of these characters are pretty evenly matched. Um, but what, what makes it mm. particularly scary about playing against Itazan is that he's very optimal. Um, so if he baits a DP, he's going to bring the hurt big time. He's going to get all the max damage that he can possibly get anywhere on the screen. All right. Doesn't even need to cash out the level one. I got him bombs is able to take that first round. And I think the only real mistake that had gone on there is like neutral jump shimmy is not something that you're going to be able to bring out a whole lot against a player of Itazan's caliber yeah. or against Zangief with that OD Lariat. Yeah, but I, I love the way I, I got them bombs. He's still uh, pushing forward, not backing himself up too much into the corner just because he's playing against Itazan. But Itazan is able to take control of some of this space, having to back off. I got them bombs drive rushes first, but off of the scramble, Itazan gets the better of the interaction. One more touch will do it. Nice throw tech from I got them bombs. All right, nice welcome parry right mm. there. And just finishes it with the standing light kick. Amazing range of that standing light kick. It is seven frames, which is a little slow for typical lights, but it has so much range. It's almost like a like a medium attack, like a typical medium poke. Right, I mean, it, it functions almost more like it, it's, its intent is to be a counter poke, and I yeah. think it, it on spacing in that situation was exactly right to be able to make that happen. Drive reversal out of I Got Dem Bombs wants to get some breathing room. on cashing out the level two. That's going to be a bunch of dry Drive gauge impact. damage. Oh, yep. Oh, all right. Level one. Still get achieves the same result. Because Drive Impact would have put on too close, and now he's got two Drive Gauge and Change yeah. to work with. Level 3 comes out. This is the difference between, had he gone for the DI route, he'd be in Burnout right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, definitely good awareness there to go for the level 1. Armor. Oh, a little bit too far there. Oh, that's a big whiff punish. I got them bombs in a great spot. Neutral Jump Shimmy works this time. It is on not in the position to go for OD Lariat being in burnout. Corner pressure. DI comes out from I got them bombs. Able to secure the first game over Itabashi Zangief. Yeah, wow. And good awareness there from I got them bombs. Just saw that uh, Itabashi had no more drive meter left. Snuck in the drive impact. Closed it out. Nice and fast. Okay. Right, a little bit of a frame trap right there. Ooh, Itazan is being very aggressive with his mid-range pokes this time. Oh. Wow, let it rip on block, huh? Okay. That was, that was a choice. But look at the drive gauge for I Got Dem Bombs. Yeah, and that's one of the things that Dengief still retained even after the nerfs. They they made they gave the, the nerf to the toward medium kick and to the damage conversion from headbutt, but they kept the drive damage that he that he got in season two. Yeah. So definitely looking very strong still. Yeah, I think that was a more important buff for him than the damage. Absolutely, yeah. Because he's taken away from you a super valuable resource, which is the drive meter, which is what this game revolves around. Okay. Hardy lead here for Itabashi Zangief. Wake up level one from I Got Them Bombs. Blows up the drive rush forward, low medium. No right. perfect parry that time. He doesn't, you can see that he's trying to represent that parry against the Dragon Lashes. Yep. Ooh. And there goes that mental stack again, just as you mentioned. No! All right, I have to go for a back throw. He doesn't get the... Let's see if I Got Them Bombs is going to do the super. Yes! Good. Wow! Good reactions right there. He knew that Itabashi was going to sneak it in. Oh, see, I I was sitting here weighing the risk reward of do you, as I got them bombs, try to be the aggressor yep. and use the last of your burnout to be like, well, I'm going to own this space and own this time. Or do you play a little bit more passively? Opts for passively, and Itazan was prepared for that with the DI through the fireball. Right, and, and I love the reaction right there with the drive reversal as soon as he blocked the crouching medium kick. That drive gauge just being deleted. Goes away on his own terms. I got them bombs committing that ODDP. We don't get anything off of that errant Stan Fierce hit. Yeah, and I feel like Itabashi is okay with that. You know, he got hit with the wake up ODDP, but look at all the drive damage that he did and how much free space he got out of as a result. Nice sweep right there. Whoa! I, <laughs> interesting decision right there. Jump back like it, huh? I love the sense of timing in when Itazan is choosing to hit buttons and where. It feels like it's very often like it's a hair earlier than you feel like it would be for the rhythm. He's preempting the beat in a way that is perfectly uh, blowing up I Got Dem Bomb's syncopation. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, and there, there it is right there. I Got Dem Bomb's not afraid to 
I thought that was be. late. Yeah, apparently Itabachi knew. Wow, off to a big lead already. Has about a 35% life lead. And I got some bombs continuing to not show fear. It's going to put him in a position where he can get very close to burning out Itabashi. I cannot believe you got away with the neutral jump shimmy again. Itazan goes into burnout on his own terms with his DI. I got them bombs. Surrender some space. We got hella plus frames now. The only thing you need to watch for is a level one. Itazan with a brave counter poke in a spot there. Oh, we get the wall stun, and I got them bombs is going to bring this to a final game, final round situation. Yeah, good, good pressure there from I got them bombs. Working on another upset of this, of this day that has mm. just been so full of them. Oh, nice whip punish right there with the standing heavy punch. This is tough. So close to the wall already. You, you can't even afford to block another headbutt. That's going to be bad. Oh, he didn't go for the level two right there? Interesting. Maybe he didn't want to mess it up because something. we have seen him. Why year one Marissa would have been the pick. But, you know, you use life as a resource like we keep saying. And if Zangief is able to get in, the amount of drive gauge threat that is generated is scary for JP. Yeah, it, it, it feels now like more so ever since Zangief got the buffs and even after this uh, slight nerf that he got, it's like getting in is like very rewarding for him. Whereas before, like, he, he, he was only getting rewarded off the grabs. Right. Yeah. Okay. He is on in burnout. Jump in. I love the amount that he's representing, like the delay fierce armoring through the jump in and then catching them on the trip guard. Yeah. OD Amnesia gets called out and Erebus is on the back foot in burnout now. This is scary to be against. Itazan finds the opening and closes it. First round. Yeah, good pressure right there from Itabashi Zangief. Oh, finds the punish counter. Standing light kick. Arabus setting up some portals. Oh, the placement of these Fierces finds the DI through that string, though, does Arabus. I think you level three? Yeah, because yeah. it's going to force burnout. This is exactly the. This is what every JP player wants. Yeah, but now it's going to be very difficult because you're going to get so much free chip. That was a series of choices, and it has landed you in this situation. Itazan with the reactionary level three through the DI situation. That's a big equalizer. Yeah, really good presence of mind there from Itabashi, knowing that the only way that he could have been opened mm. up by the drive impact was if there was a gap in between. So that's why, why not attempt the level three there, you know? And so what's huge about that is because Erebus secured that round, Itazan committed that level three. So we go into this comparatively even, but unfortunately that first interaction, Itazan off to a quick 50% lead, perfect parry. All right, opt not to end it oh. with the Lariat because wanted to keep him close. Wake up low, short, works out for him. SPD, one more touch will be the first game for Itazan. He finds the low forward. Yeah, one of the longest low forwards in the game, making great use of it right there. Has an excellent hitbox, good startup. It's, uh, I call that the, mm. stay right here, buddy. Don't go away from me. Because, <laughs> you know, at that range, you, you just want it natural. You want to walk. You want to walk away from Zangief. You don't want to, you don't want to be in range of his SPD. So that's the situation where you can sneak it in. It's so the not so fast, buddy. Yeah. All right, a perfect in that round for Itazan to be now on set point for, again, the last game, the last set, I'm sorry, of the night. Erebus finds some space on the screen, sets out the portal. Another thing, like, in Erebus's last match that we watched as we get caught out by the level one, Erebus got a lot of leniency to set up the portals and use them for movement. Itazan is always pressing forward, and Erebus is finding precious little opportunities to try to press the issue. Itazan finds the counter poke and is able to close that one out 2-0 to move on in the winner's side. Yeah. And I think it's because there's so many, like, people want a parry button now. People want a DI button. Yeah. People are trying to figure out any small way that they can give themselves mm -hmm. an advantage. That is how hungry they are to be the best in the competition. It is the Chun-Li pick out of Lud. And I tend to, I feel okay in this matchup. I think, you know, the the grounded buttons from Geef, he can play footsies, but as Chun, you can stand just outside of footsie range, represent a lot of fierce fireball. But once it is, once Zangief does get in, it hurts. It's scary. It's, it's very scary. I mean, that applies for every character in this game, right? It's like the, the matchup that Zangief really has to be concerned about is more so the neutral. 
versus being on the offense. Like, I think once Geef is in on you and is able to be in that headbutt range, it, matchup is kind of all the same. Yeah, so Chun-Li's job in this matchup then is to ensure that she is never on the back foot. You want mm -hmm. to force neutral, even when you're being the aggressor, right? Like she doesn't have the real throw loop, so you're not gonna try to overextend. You're always worried about like a churn reversal SPD or level three once the, that resource is available. So your goal is to keep the game cool and collected and composed. Mm -hmm. Right now, not happening. What a whiff punish with the standing short from Itazan. We're gonna go into level two. We're gonna full animation. Nope. Cancels the level one. And it's funny he went for that combo. <laughs> uh, he went for that combo in uh, in his pool yesterday as well. Okay. Yeah, because I know they actually gave him a buff where, you know, it used to be Hell Stab, which is a really difficult, like, it's a weird movement going from level two Hell, like, Hell Stab into level one, but I guess she was also in the corner, so he didn't have to go for that hard combo anyways. But they gave him a medium punch buff where he doesn't have to go for the Hell Stab anymore. Oh my god, the layers. Drive rush, shallow finish, baits out a punch from Lud and finds the whiff punish. Now Lud walking back to the corner again. Is this going to be the story of every Chun on stream today that they walk themselves into the corner? Because really, when you're trying to play the neutral, you're looking for whiff punish, but unfortunately, like, Itabashi is so comfortable in the neutral. Like, he's finding all the hits, whether mm -hmm. it be from stand short or stand medium punch. Right, in burnout now is Lud. Gets, oh, that wasn't the one where you can get the plus frames after. I think it's only HK legs ends up plus, mm -hmm. is what I want to say. But it's not a true block if you go for the HK Correct. legs, right? Yeah, no, there is a gap there. So, you know, making a, a calculated choice, but ending up, unfortunately, in a spot where you're still going to get caught out. Drive reversal in response to the drive rush. Low checks. Oh, man, no, no confirmation. Mm -mm. Okay. Oh, we didn't cancel into the stance. That would have been a great spot. It's maybe maybe because it hit a little weird because it's off the beginning of his drive rush, but Lud is able to get the next hit, trying to push Itabashi into the corner. Meaty jabs, but see, this is an okay spot now to try to slow it down. Problem is, your drive gauge is so low. Zangief does such a good job of specifically targeting your drive gauge, and Lud is still surrendering so much space back almost at the corner already. And Itabashi is just so many, so many fierces you're taking right now. Slowly chipping away at the drive bar. That is a punish counter, so yep, that headbutt was definitely going to take it. Mm. Stun corner. Lud just had to be ready to super there, but he wasn't, so this is going to take it with the level three. Yeah, just a super clean performance from Itabashi Zangief. Like, like we were saying, Chun's job. I, I remember there was loads of like... Vega, blah, 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 three, six, seven, and they, they sit down and they play Honda. Right. <laughs> Let's go. Mm. Nice. Crouch strong. One of the best whip punish buttons in the game. So good. So active. It's like it's, like, it's in front of the knuckle, literally. Mmm. Walk into that. I throw him, condition him early? Yes. There we go. Now we get the stagger to delay that. Do it again. Mm, the back dash, okay. Anticipating a throw. I respect that Tabachi Zangi giving him different looks. Kuzco yeah. slowing it down. Oh, he just, he just need to be a one-button warrior. Yes. Nice. Put him low. Pierce. There's no armor there. Facts. Kuzco, a very solid first round. He goes immediately back to the drive rush fears. That man across the chest. Went to the one time. There you go. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Do it again. Keep him right there. Keep him right there. I like that. Right behind the free throw line. Wow, the cross short. Really? Oh, Das Boot. Shout out to the Midwest. Oh! And again, he loves that drive rush fierce. Damn. Mm. Soccer kicks. Looking like Shibata. He's looking like 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 John Claude Van Damme in um kickboxer. He's like, hey, you want me to kick it down? Working on the tree, yeah. On the tree, yeah, yeah. Work the tree. Oh, we close to burnout. We gotta make something happen. Committing it to Basi Zanki for the burnout. There you go. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, choosing not to cancel. Is that gonna come back and bite him on the ass? No, it is not. Hmm. And mauling you with that NES. Yeah. Okay. Better blow that cartridge. It's a little nice. Glitchy out here. Punish. Shades of Street Fighter Four. Don't fall for it, man. He's luring, he's luring you in, bro. Ooh, kick the tree. Oh man, he about to hit that rodeo in a minute. I feel it. Command Showing throw. His fighting spirit. Y'all. Mm -hmm. Advantage on hit advantage. Love it. Oh my god, what a monster! You're getting walked down. Oh! Plus. 
Mm, rodillas, ACL. Oh, the walk back low forward. Yeah. Spends the level three. Desperate to get out of burnout. He's only going to get about... 60%. No, not even. No, about a third, I think. Yeah. Mm. Oh, no. Okay, there's the wheel kick. Damn. Ah, not ready. Snuck that one in nicely. That was personal. Yeah. <laughs> and walked up and thought about it for a second. Hmm, how should I end this? It's Ibashi Zangief, man. That is the name of the game for him as well. I was talking about it with El Chaco Tate, but it's the same thing for Itabashi Zangief. The name of the game for that man is conditioning. Been doing it for years. What a scumbag. What a guy. I don't know if it's the right game for him then. Tricky guy. <laughs> it's kind of hard, huh? <laughs> yes, sir. Mm. All right, drive rush medium. Slap Can, across the chest. He has conditioned him to stop trying to counter poke those drive rushes, but the low forward will still get the job done. Oh, okay. Nice. Nice and late. I know. Bit of a reaction right there from Cusco. It was nice on the charge. Fierce. No. On the jump in on top of that. Yeah, caught the landing frames. I, I mean, my little command though. Look, it's the head. But you see the shave on that? Yeah, 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 run, run, run. Immediately, yes, throw, condition now. No, no. not with Ibashi. He looks for those, he lives for those. You gotta set up afterwards, Mike. All right, set point. Man, he is going off with that stance. Yes, that's just a Ric Flair. That's rich man chops. Mm. Throwing. Those Rolex chops. No? That's the other costume. There you go, the that's Hurricane the Rana. From head to toe. Roundhouse this man. Roundhouse this man. He's almost at burnout. Oh, no, he was. Close. There you go. Oh, my God. He let that run for a minute. And this man does not run very quickly. Okay. Okay, we get the perfection. Harry is perfect. Throw him One down. More. Condition. Yes. Now we go for the low forwards or the delay cross strong. Ah. Tried to. Was out of range, though. Had the right idea. Right. Is this yes. a finish? Spend yes. It. Doesn't need to. Let's go, man. Make it difficult. There can only be one, and it's not him. One set point saved. Ah! Ooh. Yeah, everybody's a fan. I'm a fan. Oh, my God. Ow! Oh my goodness. That, <laughs> that did mental damage. Oh, the whiff punish was clean. In Watch the corner. The Stay there. Don't go out. And that is going to be it. A perfect... Dominant last round. Anyone's day. Well, technically, she doesn't inherently. Inherently, uh, exactly. For it. Nobody likes losing the thing, you know what I'm saying? It's, but it's, I, I think it's rather difficult. In every version of the game, like whether it's a good matchup or not, it's still so intimidating because of the potential damage that he can dish out. Mm -hmm. All he has to do is get in and just be in, in the headbutt range. <laughs> and just terrifying. with a jump in. Okay. Odin Lariat getting it started. Lex ready with the wake-up backdash and getting a fierce punish counter. But Lex, again, uh, when we talk about lore and whatnot, it's just incredible to see Lex's journey. Starting from Street Fighter V, new, I would kind of still say he's pretty new blood. 100%. 100%. And the, his performance at EVO Japan all the way to now, oh. top 24 winners. Incredible growth. Nice up back just to escape the pressure. Didn't want to take the guesses. anti area with the Sonic Boom. Oh, 100% take that. That's enough. We're going to dump the meter. Cancel it out. More than enough damage, as you had mentioned, Lex keeping his composure despite how close Itabashi has been these last couple of touches, right? We've already seen the damage being done from the SPD a little bit earlier ago from round one, but right now Lex still maintaining his distance, or at least trying to with low medium kick, then counter poking with the crouching medium. The Sonic Booms have to ring out eventually. Oh, the, these confirms, like Lex is just playing so on point right now, like he's made every single correct defensive up, uh, read so far with the back dash and the up back. It's difficult for Itabashi to get it started and just with the dry rush overhead, just like that. Like, is able to close out and take the first game. Wasn't even close, to be honest. No, I mean, like, it's, it's really... Oh, there's the notes. That's nice. He's doing it. He's doing the thing. He's reading the notes, as you mentioned, purely in Japanese, so Lex can't even take a peek at it. No, uh, this has been going on forever, right? This is the first time. When I got exposed to it for the very first time in Street Fighter 4, I'm like, huh. That's a real thing, right? And I started doing the same. 
I didn't get to see the bolts. <laughs> he didn't see. I think the notes were like dry rush, charge fierce more, charge fierce more. <laughs> Must land SPD. Oh boy. No, it's very extensive actually in regards to like matchup specifics, but he also has player specifics too. Yeah, oh definitely. You have to really know character matchups and then leading in to player matchups and what their tendencies are. And you can see that perfect spacing from Itabashi where he did an empty jump and Lex tried to go for an anti-air. A little too far for the DI to hit. And the body hop as well. Backdashing away from the throw after the body hop was insane. Itabashi Zangief is like, I have nowhere to go anyway. He's like, I'm, I'm in the corner. He's like, I'm making the defensive reads now. I understand that wake up backdash is going to work on you. And you can just see so much more usage of this charge pierce and the standing medium punch. Lex. Oh my god, that's mm -hmm. so cool. I love seeing that. The drive rush forward, anti air into the sweet combo. Right? Like, Lex set that up. Knew that Itabashi was going to... Now, with punish, that is one of the easier moves to with punish. I think that's probably the most with punishable normal in the game. Oh. Here it is. Itabashi's going to have to find a way. Nice with punish. There's the headbutt. Not gonna, oh, he yeah, he was trying to go for the reset. It's been very common as of late in regards to watching some of the big Zangiefs. And just what the walk up overhead makes it, Lex takes it to the match point for himself. At three bars for him too. Itabashi still within the same threat. He has level three for his own. It's a little scary. It's a little scary right now. It really is because you can't even throw a Sonic Boom on him. If he actually reacts with a level two, it could mm -hmm. be pretty, pretty detrimental to the momentum. But Itabashi landing that first SPD has got to be threatening Lex. At least it's so we thought right? it would be. But So we just need to see if, you know, he's buffering or not that level two. It yeah. definitely makes it much scarier to throw out the Sonic Boom, but... You know what would be godlike? Go, what up? Okay, he didn't... Okay. okay. Never no, mind. There's, no, there's no chance. There's no chance it's gonna happen right now. He's not gonna spend all, I think. Oh, he is. And he went for the harder combo, too. He did a hell stab into level one. Mm -hmm. Counter hit, crouch, jab upon, wake up. Not gonna kill them. He, was, he wasn't trying to take that meeting. Not uh -huh. at all. But now he can, he's free to throw as many Sonic Boons as he wants to. But does it matter for Zangief? Checked him with the short, which is such... This is definitely one of Zangief's best buttons. That short? Crouch short. Crouch or standing? Standing is much better than crouch short, but I think that was a crouch short that he started with. Sit him down! Nope. You're not going to try to cross me up. Oh. There's a perfect parry. Yeah. And the SPD as well, driver sword, chicken with a low medium kick, driver sword again, by the way. Ibashi, the armor on that. Lex try to counter poke. You're in danger. You're in the corner. How do you escape? So scary. You DI is one of those options, but he has to be more charged on the fierce for it to actually connect. Lex a little low on the meter there for the drive bar. Ooh. Just chipping away with the, the jump medium kick That's connects. So difficult to all over that jump in as well. And you talked about the intimidation factor of Zangief being up close, crouching short two times over. That leads you into so many different angles for Zangief to potentially SPD you. It's still such a threat. Oh, no! Ah, you know Jumps does. over, likes to actually does, throws a low forward at that point. Yeah. Okay. I think he had committed to it prior, right? In a bunch of had already been airborne. Yep. Oh, too far for the rest of the chops. Oh, no, missed the confirm. Not oh, even a punish counter! No, he was looking for the punish counter, but instead he's gonna burn him out. Something that Lex is gonna have to worry about is the splat. Didn't even need to do level three. This is gonna take it. Lex falls down to Itabashi. Those notes help! Yes! Yes, they did! Good matchup for Sanki, but we filling it out. He does have a Jamie. I did bump into him in rank and he washed me. Yeah. So this man is definitely a professional. He has a Terry too in the pocket, but definitely his main screen from what I've been seeing is Ken. But let's see what's up. Let's see if he's that confident. Maybe there's something that we don't know. They play casuals. Who knows? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Sometimes when players pick these characters, there could be some missing context that we might not be aware of. Um, yep. And, uh, but yeah, his Jamie, uh, I know he does have a Jamie as well, but Itabashi Zambi doesn't believe in it because he is straight making work with him so far and already burned him out. Mm, this is data collection. Anytime I see a wash up like this, this is data collection. Now, this is when you got to wake up. You're out of the dream now. Yeah, and good stuff to Itabashi Zambi right now, going for the OD double suplex. That is Zangief's most meter building move. So anytime you see him end the round with that move, it's because he's thinking already thinking about the next round. Okay. To build that, those max resources. Oh, jab it. Talk that talk, man. Mm, trying to clip him walking back. No one home. That's punish. 
All right, didn't get too much of a punish right there, so good spacing on boost, but uh, Itabashi Zangief slowly kind of pushing him to the corner. That's that that wall that Zangief creates. Scary. I like that drive rush into charge this. A lot of people tend to check with me with mids, right? So it's a good option. All right, boost not scared, uh, scared to do the wake up ODDP right there just to get him off. Mm. But still only on two drinks right now. But we playing that plus on whiff game. Watch this. Whiff a button and slap him in the chest. I feel like it's coming. Look, look, look. Oh, yep. It wasn't a whiff, but he slapped him in the chest nonetheless. Yeah, chest chops. Good corner carry on that. Kept it nice and simple. Oof. Now oh. I'm pretty sure Boost is looking for opportunities to punish that charge fist, but I like that it's about to switching it up. He's not even charging. He's just letting him rip. Going for that burnout. Boost is feeling the pressure. He's trying to get up out of there. He's holding North for dear life. That's how much he cares for the drive gauge, but it didn't pay out this time. I feel like we need to go to that select character screen now. Not now, but right now. Expeditiously. Expeditiously. Look at Itabashi. Oh, <laughs> he's enjoying himself. Yeah, he's like, oh, you're going to give me Jamie? All right. <laughs> Please do. Please hit rematch. What he's saying is, he's like, I don't understand how I'm winning or losing, but I'm still here. <laughs> hey, man, that's the mindset you got to have for Zangie <laughs> sometimes. I don't understand how I'm here. Wow, looking for that punish down the round. You already see him? Uh-oh. Mm, the fearsome of fierce. Look at that. All right, planted him real quick. All right, and one of the things about Zangief that is still good even after the nerfs is that so Zangief he got a, a couple of nerfs in the Terry patch. They nerfed the damage on his uh, toward heavy punch, the okay. headbutt, and the knee is more is actually punishable now if he does it from too close. But they kept his drive damage, so he could still attack that drive bar really with all his normals. And as he should, right? That's his that's his uh, main core gameplay to stay close, right? So I can agree with that. Okay, boost. Uh, Having a little trouble here. I respect that. Churn that butter. Get up off of me. Let me have a refreshing beverage here. It's getting a little stressed. Yeah, a little, getting bit a little of stressed here. Uphill battle for Boost, though. You got to find maybe three hits to be able to take this round. Not an easy task to do against Zangief. Oh, oh man. man. Immediately with the SPD. <laughs> Tuck the young lad in. All right, but just a reminder, this is three out of five. So Boost still does have a chance to switch to the Ken if he doesn't feel confident in the game one. Mm, immediate drive reversal. Just to get space for the drink, I can I can appreciate that. Trying to score that command throw early on. Dive kicks as well. All right, two drinks in right now. Mm. All right, great defense. Itabashi. Yeah, Itabashi hasn't really overextended too much. Hasn't given anything to boost that really um, able to capitalize off of. So, just as we say that though, now the match really begins. Jamie is at level four. No. Yes, cardboard on the floor. Immediate, immediate level three. Pardon me. Hey, let me have a talk with you. My tab is open, says Jamie. Now All we're right. going to drive us continue this combo. Absolutely. Reset. Command throw incoming. Is Itabashi going to be holding up regular throw? Ooh, and it was a, you saw the punish counter on that. So if, if Itabashi Zengi probably woke up with a drive parry. And you do lose extra life when you get your parry thrown. Sure. Mm, the backdash, hard read on the SPD. I get it. Listen, I'm guessing too, and I'm not even on the sticks. Yeah, Itabashi with a little bit of hesitation right there. Maybe trying to find a, a wake-up DP so he can level three. Those buffers here, that standing medium kick. There it is. Into the pump. I'm at Espacio. My tab is open. Off of me. My tab is open. No, no free drinks? Maybe he, was, uh, maybe he knew he was just going to regular attack, right? All right, go straight into the level two, attacking that drive bar. Mm. Level one just to get the burnout right there. He does get a driver set up from this. Oh, he went for the knee. Que hmm? mezcla. Yep, one more SPD will do it. Even a normal throw will do it. Zanky does do above average damage with his throws. Okay, okay. You know what? Why not? Okay. Why not? Yeah, he gets a lot of drive meter back for that super. <laughs> Too much pressure. Oh, man. Yeah, he was just waiting a little bit too long right there. Zangi said, let me give you a hug real quick. Hey, man, we out. Can we go to the uh, Caucasian male known as Ken Masters, please? I mean, guy's great. I mean, fits your style. Right up your alley. Yeah, he's taking a big swig of that water right there. <laughs> As of getting planted like that, man, I would take a water some more yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, you know, high altitudes, you get, you get thirsty. Wow, Very he's fat. going all the way with the Jamie. Okay, <laughs> yeah, definitely some instant context here. It could be that they played each other, and you know, probably just feels a little bit better with the Jamie pick. I mean, you really can't tell, right? Because like at the end of the day, boost, boost is good. So it's like, oh no, absolutely, yeah. So I, you know, I'm sure he could do it with multiple characters, but right now he's going with boost, um, with uh, Jamie, and uh, you know, he's riding all the way through with it. And, you know, typically in this matchup, um, it's, 
people like kind of meme about it being like three, four drinks every time for Jamie. But uh, Itabashi Zangief has been doing a good job of like not letting him get free drinks. Mm -hmm. That's true. That's true. He's walking him down, right? So you don't get yeah. him no space. But I mean, boost, boost is cool now. He got the hair. No, no split ends on this boy. Oh, wow! Right on the chin. Char charged up stuff right there. Ooh, okay, reactions. I mean, you could sweep it low, but I mean, you don't know what it's gonna be, right? An SPD or, or, or a dry rush crowd jab, so I get it. Yep. Oh, Whoa, with the back dash, okay. Let's go. Uh, He's moving right there. I'm gonna give Jamie some water, please. Yeah, he needs to get that drink up right now, okay. That's extension right there from the dry rush fierce. All for the espacio for the free drink. Yeah. Yeah, Boost being a little conservative with his drinks, only going for one after the knockdown. He doesn't want to give Itabashi Danki too much space to move around and get in there. Back dash from Itabashi, no, he's going to sit there and block. He's going to guess like the rest of them. Oh, a little bit late on that whiff punish attempt. Oh, mm. stop the rush punch. Hell of a buffer right there, Boost. Right, it's boost. not, wait, actually, this should be enough, yeah. depending on the starter. No, 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 I think, no, 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 he's a combo with, but he does have to drive rush, so it's cool. Yep, he's going to get the extension, spent the meter. And puts himself on the board, showing why he's on winner's top eight side. Well, let, yo, let's go. I know you knew Wing Chun, Boos. <laughs> Jamie, Wing Chun. Right? He didn't even have to go into level four right there. Well, so, well, well, Boos. You know what? I ain't going to lie. I was, I, was, uh, I was doubting it. But you know what? Let me shut my ass up. Hey, this man. I, nice Jamie. I always say that's why we're here and they're on there. So 100%. He knows what he's doing. And he picked them three times, so he definitely believes in it. Yeah, for real, right? With a chance to qualify for Capcom, we're gonna put an all on the line with Jamie. It's not a bad thought. You got a five, man. You got time to think. Oh, sneaky, tricky guy. Oh, Itabashi Zanfi just running in his grill with the bear guard right there. Oh, Ooh. cabeza. Cranium. No dents on that forehead, I oh. promise. Damn, he tried to hold up. So scared of the burnout. I get it, man. Human error. And there it is. The OD double suplex right there. Get the most meter. It put him above two meters. So he's starting the round with those two bars. That's <laughs> ancient. It's Abashi Zangi with a chance to send Boost to the losers and uh, put him on the spectator side. He's going to have a long road. That is, of course, if Boost going to tighten things up right here and raise that difficulty setting. Are we going to look for that charge fist? No, there it is. Boost finds the standing meter kick into the drive rush. Into the record now, two drinks, making sure he gets those knockdowns. Uh, the latest of DPs. Condition him now. All right. Yeah, it, I love that Boost is not being afraid to mix him up. Itabashi Zangief is one of the premier Zangiefs that knows how to do the jump cancel SPD, but he hasn't done it yet. Uh -huh. Abuse. Uh, there it is. I was about to say when he was going to uh, represent the back dash in the pros. Yep. Off of me, please. Not a bad risk for Itabashi Zangief. That could have led to a lot. Punish. Oh, good awareness right there from Boost. He saw that he was close enough to land the sweep and immediately just kept it simple. The boost is loose, man. That is, of course, if he can tie this up. I hope so. All right, that is safe now. Ooh, stealing turns? Yeah, he said, wake up. That's one of the staples of playing a record character. You got to represent that as part of the mix. Mm, ow, 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 ow. Whoa. Yeah, it gets a little extra damage on that punish counter. Command throw if it grabs a parry. But this is a dangerous position right now for boost. Everything is going to be safer and more plus for Zangief now. Don't panic, man. Get those buffers ready. He's trying to buffer just in case if he hits the armor on the fizz or the drive impact. Immediate level three. I get it. I need a touch grass. Let me go outside again for the one time. And we get the green run on top driver's combo. No, we're going to save that cash. I agree. All right. I like that he went for the meterless extension right there just to have that full stick of green to try and finish off this round and tie it up two to two. Mm, mm. Almost, not yet. There's two more hits away. He doesn't even have cash to really finish the job, but he does have access to that drive gauge. But kick back and relax, my friend. The lead is on your side. Yeah, but uh, Itabashi Zangis don't count him out. He is sitting on full meter on both sides. Not going to be able to kill here, but one more throw will do it for Boos. Oh! Oh, what a way to put himself in danger. It's about to try to make anything stick right now. This is getting dangerous. The punish. We was aware. Stayed in range as well. It's not like he mashed on back dash or holding up back. Stayed in that range just in case he needs to punish something. And he scores. Ties it up. Boost. Deuce, deuce. Yeah, and good awareness there from Boost because the reason Itabashi Zangi went for the overhead heavy kick right there is because in burnout, it's, it's kind of tricky to punish it, especially if you don't wear the spacing. But we saw Boost was ready with the, with the target combo. Immediately, he knew that it would reach fast enough to punish and it would close out the round. Look at that. The adaptation level from both of these guys. But mainly Boost was down, what, 2-0? Yeah. So bring it back 3-0. 
it's a possibility here. But Zangief still slimy as usual. Mm, the delay stuff. This man is setting him up for the plays, the wake up sweep. I like that from Mr. Box Zangief being back to Want to stay close to the action. All right, got a drink right here. Already on two drinks. Mm. Yeah, he's switching it up too. He does, he does drive rush um, stand fish, the drive rush chop. I guess in case if he does want to go for the low and interrupt the stand fish. Yeah. Yeah, definitely got to mix up those options. You don't want to use the same approach every time. Mm -hmm. Oh, good patience there from Itabashi Zangi. Able to block the jump OD dive kick. But just as I say that boost, starting to run away with it now. What a turnaround. He was down 2-0 and right now on set point. Mm -hmm. Come on, Itabashi. I was saying this to Boost earlier, but it, it looks like it is you who needs to raise the difficulty setting. SPD, he held up. He knew even Itabashi knew. Yeah, Itabashi saw that he was in range to go for the low right there, got the extension. And now he's the one sitting with a slight, slight light face. Got him getting walked out. Yes, wise choice. Wise choice. Man, that was so active. Yep. Oh, and Bruce not afraid to use the ODDP out of the corner. And Ooh. right there, Itabashi finds the jump in. You know, I appreciate that from Itabashi. <laughs> He reset the combo just to just to wail at the drive gauge. I agree, but that gave an opportunity for Boost to get out of here. But the opportunity is definitely Zanki's hands. No! Oh, and just like that, Boost tried to use the wake up drive reversal right there. And Itabashi Zanki knew that he could just do something low committal, just went for the crouching light kick. Boost probably holding up or trying to special move and got out. Got killed. I wonder if he got Oh my god, tell me a hit! Oh, oh no! Gosh, flexing for the crowd. Ay, yeah, yeah. Look at the look at the life points. Look at the life points. Oh, oh. And look at the drive too. Yes. One more string from Zangief, and that will be burnout. He smells yeah. blood. It's about Zangief. Oh, yeah. Is he gonna counter poke with a drive rush? I feel like he is. Let me see. The yeah. buffer is ready here for Boots. Let me see some. All right, Itabashi doing being very careful to not overextend. He doesn't want to get whip punished by anything. Oh! oh. Just like that, hit him with the boots. There it is. He's almost close to the yellow though, so it could put him uh more. Uh oh. Now it's CA, he got CA, but how is he gonna open up Itabashi Zanki? Yeah, Itabashi Zanki's still showing respect. He doesn't want to get uh give it to Boost from a simple comeback. All right, but Boost is burnt out and he can get chipped. Yeah, oh he tried to do something to get away. Mm -hmm. Definitely that's the level of, of persistence that you gotta have when you're in these top eights, these winners finals, these grand finals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The buttons have been checked. Everything works. No excuses. Let's go, y'all. Make some noise for y'all winners finals for the one time. Come on now. This is killer. This is dual Kevin. This is prime position for this ticket, baby. For anybody, really. I'm not, I'm not trying to be biased. You know, that's part of the job. Oh, oh. yeah. Bust out. Represent that early. Don't get too comfortable close to me. No fear right there. Aye, aye. Vintage Undertaker block. Up back. Yes. Hold north to avoid the command throw. But the roundhouse connects. It's about Zangi for scheming. All right, and Duel Kevin keeping the fight in the middle of the stage, but Itabashi doesn't care, hugging him real quick, showing him that you can't just sit there against him. Wow, what a way to expose his burnouts for the chip out. Duel Kevin did everything in his arsenal to keep Itabashi hanging away, but that one check into the headbutt is what set the tone. Speaking of setting the tone, oh no, I for setup. Yeah, he did. Oh. I see. I see. He wants to be closer to him, right? Yeah. He, he, he did some damage just so he could wail at the drive gauge. I see what's going on here. Maybe an error. Who knows? And a lot more SPDs that we've seen usually from Itabashi in this top eight so far. Damn, that was a game? God damn. That was quick work right there. Hold on, hold on, hold on, suave, papa. Hold on, suave. Wow, he suave. planted him. I don't even think he needed to do that <laughs> to get the kill right there. He wanted to make a statement. All necessary. You know, got time to think. You know, I, I know that uh, contraption he's rocking on is very ergonomical, so uh, oh, maybe he needs some time to adjust. Who knows? I'm just I'm just talking out of my uh, cooler. But we saw, you know, we do have the player cam on the screen right now, and Duel Kevin, to his credit, is really unfazed. He's still just, another, you know, he gets to keep his head in the game, just another round. Now, this is what gets dangerous, right? All right, granted, use the OD to get some space, but as soon as Itabashi gets some blocks done, there it is, and he had to go for the perfect parry for the drive gauge, I agree. Oh, back up, back up, don't get too close, You're too close, man. Aye, oh, he's no. there. In the corner, there goes the double headbutt right there. No, no ejection seat here. No, talk to me, Goose. And good awareness right there from Itabashi. You saw him back up to get in prime position to do the anti-air OD Lariat and keep Duo Kevin in the corner. Oh my God, that dad hat is about to come flying, boy. One more touch will do it for Itabashi Zangief.
Stand strong represented here for, for, for Mitsubashi. He's looking for it. Oh, even better. Wow, the walk-up punish. Wow, he was able to reach with the crouching leg kick from there. That walk-up block is what really helped him out. Got him close range. Yeah. Oh, and he got the conversion from that. Good stuff from Duel Kevin. Gonna take some time. I think he needs to preserve some drive gauge. I think that has, has been the downfall for Duel Kevin. Oh, yep. no. Oh, jumped away. Good awareness from there to at least attempt it. Oh, no. Oh. 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 Planted him, and he does get a setup from this. Woo! Wow. Let me hit him with the North Carolina, then an SPD. Stand strong. Yeah, and, you know, we haven't seen him do this many command throws. Like you said, you got to give him different looks. And this time around, he's representing more of that mix-up. It's going to probably get in his head for the rest of the set. We're probably going to see some jump outs later on from Duel Kevin, because you can't sit there and take him all the time. Man, and he's a tank on top of that. This is so tough for, for Duel Kevin. I mean, he got some footing here. He got a level three, but he's going to have to make something happen. Not even a level two is going to help there. There you go. Yeah, hit, Caught the check. Hit him with the Ric Flair real quick to finish off that second game. It's all right. I like how it drops on, like, different parts of the lyrics. Like, Duel Kevin got washed. and a bit of failure, a bit of... <laughs> one of the characters. Just to add insult to injury, right? It's all right. Got to think about it. I mean, got to reflect on this, man. Early on, again, what, really, what was really winning there was the drive gauge lead for Etsabashi, of course. Duel Kevin busting out those OD reversals to get some space. However, low on the drive gauge, which means Itabashi Sankey got headbutts on standby. The early burnouts is not helping out Duel Kevin, so let's see how he adjusts. Yeah, that's definitely one of the secret strengths of Zangief, that even if you do successfully bust out, if you do it while you're low on drive, you're putting yourself in a very scary position if, if Zangief is able to get a couple of hits on you, even on block. Yep. There it is. It's space in his key, right? You can see he's really not doing anything, but just the walk down in general was scary. Yeah. It's, it's a mental stack off of that. There you go. Get, not, get, get comfortable, Kev. He's human just like you. He bleeds. Oh, there goes that crossing light kick again. We saw him punish earlier. Take your time. Quick lead here from Itabashi. He's not going to overextend. I do feel a standing shorter to drive rush is in the play here. Oh, and finds the light mixer. Able to extend on counter hit. See what kind Bro. of setup he goes for here. Immediate throw. No fear from Duel Kevin. Up forward, no. You try to attempt to splash just to get some offense off. Negative. Good buttons. Good button placement there, Duel Kevin. Yeah, we saw Duel Kevin keeping it tight right there. Dashed up into the lights. With no counter hit, so probably Itabashi either tried to back that or hold up. There we go. Stay still. Don't walk back. I like that. There you go. Punish! Okay, oh. Kev. Evasive maneuvers. And go, went for the side switch to get the most advantageous position out of that exchange. <gasps> I thought he was going to wall jump. Oh, wow. Interesting decision right there. He... he Avoided the jump out with his own jump out. Oh my god. Oh, no lariat from Itabashi Zangief. Run, man, run! Oh, and this will take it. Drive rush extension, lariat. One round apiece. And set point for Itabashi Zangief. Looking to punch his ticket into the grand finals. Get off me. Good reaction. Good reaction. He's still healthy on the on the on the greener side of things. Yeah, as soon as he saw green, he met him with his own yellow. Yep, yep, yep. In between. Mm, I like that. I don't even think from that far a, a low forward to reach, but that is the name of the game, right? If you could snipe out a charged fish, it's, it's the legs are exposed. Yeah, and this is this is like the, the part of the round where it starts to get super dangerous. Both players sitting on three bars. So you know if they both get a good confirm, it's gonna be big damage coming out of here. Once again, the drive rush stopped with the immediate OD mixer. Yeah, yeah. Seeing the green and mash between. Oh no. All right, representing that command throw as part of the footsie game. It is kind of like an extended poke. Hold that lead, drive gauge healthy. Don't even need to overextend. Yeah, both players are actually potentially one touch away if they get the right hit. That stand short into dry rush will be represented from Itibashi Zangi in any moment. And that's all he needs really to get in. Uh oh, shade. Oh, that was almost it. He got the dry, he got the trade combo, but didn't believe in it. <laughs> oh, oh, the duff. <laughs> oh, no. React. All right. I'm but telling you, it's on the way to double chop. Duel Kevin still alive, trying to find that crouching fierce into the level three potentially. Oh, oh. come on. It was coming to double chop. I'm telling you. And you know what? Why not? He does have games to get. Let's go, man. East Coast throw. Make some noise. Grand finals, y'all. Ooh, it was the immediate check on the drive rush from Idom right there. Ooh, Itabashi not scared to go for the SPD early on. He said, I don't need no metal to, metal to get my scoops. Ooh. All right. All right. I, I, don't, I, I don't 
ever remember seeing these guys play. Am I tripping? Yeah, I don't. I never seen them play, and I've also never seen this matchup. So damn. Yeah, yeah. That, this is why this is a treat. Mm, I like it. All right, but looking like Itabashi was able to walk him down. He backed up just enough to get that OD Lariat anti-air into the instant air SPD. Oh, had the right idea. Thought it was probably maybe a jab of some sort, yeah. but using the arm on that fist. Tricky, tricky, tricky guy, Itabashi. Come over here. Dos medallions. Do it again. Listen, he don't know how, he don't know what it's like to get scooped. You gotta give him, you gotta hit him with that same medicine. Oh my god, he tried it. Oh wow, he just busted out with one of his few reversal options. Lariato! Mm. Uh, uh, uh. Spin, I'm riding spinners. SPD. Ooh, the chop to the chest. Then quick work. Yeah, this is going to be a high octane match, man. I don't think these rounds are going to, you know, no time overs here. I wonder if Daigo told them in Japanese, hey, make this quick, I'm hungry. Uh, he, it, it looking like he did because this is looking real rough for Idom right now. Command throw, no? No, there it is. Well, let's add to the medallion. I like that. That's all for corner carry, by the way, so I, I respect that. Yeah, and Adam does have to win two sets. Oh, that he almost plus. had the perfect pair. Just a little bit. Yep. Just a little bit. And that is a, a little bit of a problematic button for Manon because she wants to poke with the standing heavy kick, but Zangief's armor on the heavy punch will go through that. Uh -huh. Three. Right, well, he held up. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. You got to get two, yeah. <laughs> oh, right, and, we, and we've been seeing Iram land that driver slow forward so much. Getting good mileage out of that. Oh, swinging those buttons. Didn't get whip punished. All right, Iram staying out of the range of that standing heavy punch. Probably looking for the whip punish it. Oh. Oh, nice whip punish right there from Iram. I wonder if Anak could use that, the medium kick Tatsu, to, to, to what punish the stand fears from Zangi. Yeah. I feel like that'd be a good tool, right? Get an Oki right after. Speaking right. of Okis, though, are we going to spend it? Absolutely. Yeah, not going to get the kill here, but we'll put him one touch away. Sight! Oh, okay. I mean, said jump back, want to kiss myself. Idom ties it up. Okay. This ain't free, baby. This is earned. Well earned. Yeah, and Idom sneaking his way back into the mix. One game apiece for both players. Idom does have to win two sets here. He is coming from the loser side. Did you see the classic old school tactics? This is how you know he's 40 years old. My man, my man, walked, my man sat right behind Idom just in case if Idom likes looking at buttons. You see that? Ooh, yeah. look, 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 watch, watch, watch the next move, man. It's crazy. It's crazy. Dust. Yeah, when, oh. they, when they be moving the chair back, they readjust their seat. You hear the. <laughs> oh man, but just as we say that, he is getting clocked. Oh. Mm, get this optimal stuff. Comate esto. Oh, Woo! Right. He dead? And he still has meter. You're gonna be probably him out. Ooh, the duff! Woo! Idom didn't have enough life to survive with the drive impact there. <laughs> Officer, I think I seen a duff across the street somewhere. Uh, scoop. All right, two medal, two medallions for Idom. Ooh, sneaking in the running bear grab right there. It does give him the corner position. Oh, oh and he nah. baited it out. Ooh. Uh, Oh, and slams him down real quick. Oh, part of the concrete now. Yeah, this is a real wrestling match, just how you said. Command throw. I knew oh, it. Do okay. it again. Do it again. Don't be scared. Oh, dangerous position there for Idom. Ah! Oh. What's it, Freddy? What a surprise, surprise. Itibashi Zangief now. Yeah, that mental stack was all the way up for Idom. One more match. He punches his ticket. Idom, you're going to have to wake up, raise that difficulty setting. Oh, Itabashi's running all the plays. He, he, he's running all the plays. He knows. Yeah, he knows Idom is doing too much thinking. Yeah, he's running through all the options now. There we right. go. Fight back. Oh, get off of me, he told him. The Connect. triple chops right there. One more will do it. Man, Man oh, Zangief, get off. Oh, punish that. Yeah. Mm, buttons. All right, trying to find the drive impact. He does have to be careful about that because Zangief's standing heavy punch could absorb it. And oh. just as I say that, it happened. Good call, my boy. That was a great call. Yeah, that's one of the things about Zangief. He doesn't have reversal options, but he has armor on the standing heavy punch. That is an extra layer of defense against drive impact. Uh-oh, uh-oh. This is the start of something beautiful. <laughs> oh. Freight train is in. Oh! oh. We'll get the burnout on, the on this. 
dangerous position for Idom. Will this be the end of our hero? He's gonna match that level. He's gonna have to match this, right? To survive something, just to get out the court. Oh, I respect wake that. Sweet. Wake up, sweet. We're gonna have to do something here, Idom. You gotta get nasty. Go to work. Yeah, he, he is completely burnt out, so not much that he can do. He has to be very careful with his approach. Can I see this? Oh my god. Oh, oh yeah! Oh! oh yeah! And we right, and we touching grass again on the green on the drive gauge. Here we go. All right. Oh, man, though, he's going to hold up forward to splash. I'm telling you, that's why his legs is getting oh. clipped. He's too close to the cover. And there you have it. It's Tabachi Sankey. We cash.